Hello, today we're going to do a quick introduction to CAD. Um, some of you may have already used CAD, and CAD, for those of you who don't know, stands for Computer Aided Drafting. Um, it's gotten to the point where it's fairly ubiquitous. Um, but it, and it's really kind of changed the world of welding just right before my eyes. I've been welding for in the, in the trade um, almost 25 years, and it's changed significantly since I started, and most of it's for the better. So what is CAD? CAD is computer-aided drafting. Um, anymore, it's used pretty much everywhere in the construction industry. Um, nobody makes paper, paper, formal paper drawings anymore. Um, and, and what CAD allows us to do is it allows us to draw lines and create a wireframe for something, um, you know, just like, just like we're drawing on paper. Um, we can draw a wireframe outline of something, and then we can turn this into a three-dimensional shape. Um, 3D shapes are called models. Um, and with a model, we can perform structural analysis on them, we can check tolerances, fit them together to check assembly fit, and we can even mock up fairly complicated mechanical systems to see how stuff's gonna bend and move and flex and turn, um, all in the computer. It saves a lot of time for people that are skilled with these programs. It saves a ton of time. Um, advantage over manual drafting for me is productivity. It's the ability to almost never have to start from scratch. A lot of times, the stuff we build, we've built something similar to it before. I don't have to start from a blank piece of paper. I can go get that file, pull it in, and change from there instead of having to, like I said, start from scratch every time. It reduces the amount of work greatly. It's like um, it's like if you're having to write a, a term paper and everything about the term paper was the same except the last paragraph, it'd be really easy to go grab that other the term paper, change the last paragraph, and resubmit it. But, well, we can do that with CAD. We can't do that with, with paper drawings. Um, the other cool thing about CAD is it stores all the, all the information electronically, which is much easier to manage and it's much, actually much more reliable than paper storage. Um, paper, paper prints are always going to be around in a, in a shop. There's problems with that though, and the problem is if you know they give me they give me a print to build a part, um, I figure oh I'm gonna end up building these parts again. I take that drawing, stuff it in the bottom of my locker in the bottom of my toolbox, and they say hey I need ten more of those parts. Here's the drawing. They give me the new drawing. Well I don't look at the new drawing. I go get my old drawing. Well what if that drawing changed between a year ago the last time I built these and now? Well I'm gonna be building to the older version of the print. Um, electronically it's much easier to manage that because we archive the last revision, the new revision is the only one that's current. If I go to print that off, the only one I can get is the new revision, so I'm always building the current part. Um, so don't rat hole papers in your toolbox. Get, ask for new prints every time you build them because stuff changes. Um, and it's really easy to make um, changes in drawings in CAD. If I, if I drew this in CAD, or if I drew this on paper, if I want to shorten this box to make it half the height, um, I've got a bunch of racing to do. In CAD, I can just come in, click on this line, shorten the length, shorten the length, shorten the length, and it's just easier. Um, disadvantages to CAD, it's not really useful for the quick sketches and drawings that, that we as welders make all the time in a shop to communicate our ideas or to make one-off parts. There will always be manual drafting. Um, not as formal as it used to be, but I'm always making sketches. Everything I build, Everything, literally everything I build, I make a sketch for. And I usually don't do that in CAD because I'm making one of them, I'm just trying to either proof my ideas for dimensions or I'm gonna give it to somebody, say, hey, I need three of these parts. I draw a drawing for everything. It's a sketch. Um, I'm always gonna do that. I'm never gonna use CAD for that. I'm never gonna say, ah, I'm gonna go to the computer, make this in CAD, print it off, no. I was going to get my notepad, sketch it out, and give it to somebody. So we still need to know how to do manual drafting and how to communicate manually. But um, the world's changing. So this chapter also talks about a lot of the software and hardware involved in CAD, and that's going to be on the quiz. Um, this That chapter in the book is so dated that it is only useful to pass the quiz. Um, all of you will know more about computers than the book does. Don't worry about that stuff. Um, let's see, common software for us is going to be AutoCAD, SolidWorks, SolidEdge, those are the big three. There, there are others that are getting more and more popular, they work well, 
Um, I hated AutoCAD for a long time. It's beginning to grow on me. It works really well for us because our CNC plasma it wants wireframes. It does not want models. Um, in an AutoCAD, I can draw the wireframe. Just draw the wireframe. A lot of the other programs, you have to build the model and then go to the wireframe. That's changing, but CAD works really well for that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, it's been a quick overview of CAD. You're going to do a bunch of it in the second year. If you have questions about it, Malcolm is the guy. He's the CAD master. He's been he's been running AutoCAD since it was CAD one. So find anybody. Um, we'll talk to you later.